Congratulations on your purchase of the GBC Pinnacle 27. Proper usage and care will give you years of trouble-free lamination. Remove the Pinnacle from its package and place it on a stable surface that supports 150 pounds. Position it to allow film to exit freely. Do not place the Pinnacle near heat or cold sources as they can affect the quality of lamination and warm-up time. Review your owner's manual to learn of potential hazards from improper operation. The heat shoes and rollers are hot when the pinnacle is on. The point where they meet to laminate is called the nip point. Keep loose clothing, long hair, and jewelry away from the nip point at all times. Plug the pinnacle into any standard size outlet that is not being used for any other heavy duty equipment. Your pinnacle comes with two preloaded test rolls of 1.5 mil film for setup and training. Turn the pinnacle on using the main power switch on the back. This allows you to conveniently turn it on and off at the control panel. Check that the film rolls are locked and the heat shield is closed. If the feed table is not locked into proper position, the rollers will not turn. The pinnacle runs both NAPLAM 1 and 2 film from 1 mil to 3 mils thick. The temperature setting automatically defaults to NAPLAM 1. Select NAPLAM 2 when running NAP2 film. Actual temperature is displayed until the setting is reached. Then the display becomes a footage counter. The pinnacle takes only 6 to 9 minutes to warm up. The green ready lamp lights and sounds an audible tone when it's ready to laminate. Check the speed guide printed on the feed table and set the speed using the dial. 1 and 1.5 mil film can run at any speeds from 1 to 10. 3 mil film should only be run at speeds from 1 to 5. Position your materials on the feed table and press run. Gently guide the materials into the nip point of the heat rollers. Do not try to reposition the items after the rollers have begun to pull your items. You may place additional items onto the feed table without stopping and starting the pinnacle. Once all the items have completely exited, press stop. To remove your items, hold the film away from the pinnacle, press the cutter, and slide it across the film. Although the blade is covered when not in use, it's very sharp. Keep fingers clear of the blade. For safety, only use the cutter from behind the pinnacle. Do not reach over it as loose clothing could become caught in the rollers. You may now shut off the pinnacle or leave it on. After two hours of inactivity, it will automatically shut off. This feature can easily be disengaged for all day use by simply moving the sleep mode switch to the off position. Good consistent lamination depends on combining proper heat, tension and speed. Thicker items in films, items that are dark or have full ink coverage need to run at slower speeds. Running them too fast may cause peeling or bubbling. Thinner items like tissue and copy paper should be run at faster speeds. Running them too slowly can cause wrinkling or cloudiness. To be sure of proper speed for your item, run a test piece of the same or similar material and make speed adjustments as necessary. Long lamination runs of more than 30 minutes might require a slower speed setting. To avoid heat line, always wait until the materials have completely exited the back before pressing stop. Abrasive or metal objects such as staples and paper clips may damage the pinnacle, so remove them before laminating. Any item that is not easily pulled through the rollers is probably too thick. Call your GBC authorized service technician for repair and service. Select a few key people to be responsible for advanced operations such as film loading, clearing jams, cleaning and maintenance. Film on the pinnacle is mounted on metal shafts that are adjustable to accommodate varying film widths. Always run top and bottom film rolls of the same width. We will show you two methods of loading film. One method for replacing film rolls is to use the existing film to help feed the new film through. This method works best when the pinnacle is heated. Use extreme caution and avoid contact with the heat sources. Preheat the pinnacle until the ready lamp illuminates. Remove the feed table. Cut the remaining top and bottom films between the rolls and heat shoe. Remove the heat shield. 
Remove the bottom film shaft by gently pushing the right end of the shaft into the pinnacle and releasing from the left. Remove the bottom film roll by releasing the right core chuck. Remove it from the shaft and slide off the existing roll. Check to see that the left core chuck is screwed into the correct pre-drilled hole for your film width. Place the new film on the shaft with the glossy side out and the film unrolling from the bottom toward the back. Slide on the right core chuck, tighten the chuck. Replace the shaft in the pinnacle by gently depressing the right side mount and positioning the left side in the hex opening on the left. Unroll enough film from the new bottom roll to tack to the existing film on the heat shoe leaving a little slack. Replace the feed table. Now remove the top roll of film in the same way. When you slide the new roll onto the shaft, the glossy side should be down and film unrolling from the bottom toward the operator. Secure the film shaft into place. Unroll the film, tuck it under the idler bar and onto the existing film on the heat shoe. Replace the heat shield. Turn the pinnacle on, select temperature setting and let it warm up. Then. Set the dial to 1 and press Run. To assure proper feeding, both the old and the new film must advance at the same time. Any separation between the films will require repositioning of the film over the heat shoe. After the newly threaded film has completely exited and the output is clear, press Stop. Now you're ready to laminate. The second method of film loading uses a threading card. Remove the feed table and the heat shield. Unroll enough film from the top roll to drape under the idler bar and over the heat shoe. Lift the bottom film up and over the heat shoe. At this point the bottom and top film will begin to adhere to form one film. Reinstall the feed table and heat shield. Turn the machine on, then set the dial to one. Press run and slide the threading card between the feed table and the bottom film. Gently push the card into the nip point. The card should now guide both rolls of film into the heat rollers. As the rollers turn, be sure that the leading edge of the threading card enters the back rollers and properly exits the pinnacle. Once the threading card has exited, push stop. Your film is now installed. Film jams may occur if the film exit is blocked, causing the film to wrap around the pull rollers. To clear a jam, remove the feed table and cut the top and bottom film. Replace the feed table and turn on the pinnacle. Press reverse while gently pulling the jammed film toward you, being careful not to touch the heat shoe. After the jammed film is clear, rethread the pinnacle using a threading card. The only maintenance required on the pinnacle is the cleaning of the heat shoes with each film change. This procedure is performed while the pinnacle is hot, so use extreme caution. Preheat the pinnacle until the ready lamp illuminates. Cut the top and bottom film. Press and hold the reverse button while gently pulling the film toward you. Clean the top and bottom heat shoes with a soft cloth. Install the feed table and heat shield. Rethread pinnacle using the thread card method. For complete maintenance coverage, repair and service, contact GBC Full Circle Service at 1-800-541-0094.